Uh, today I am going to give you an overview of lung cancer management with radiation therapy. Radiation therapy is one of the three treatment modalities of lung cancer management. It has a very powerful role in the management of lung cancer in all stages. According to the Globocon latest statistics, lung cancer is the fourth most common cancer in India. The incidence is around seven cases per lakh population, amounting to approximately one lakh cases per year in India. Three main types of lung cancer can be seen under microscope on the biopsy specimen. They are squamous cell carcinoma, adenocarcinoma, which are together called as non-small cell lung cancer, and the third is small cell carcinoma. The treatment of each may vary, so that's why it is very important to do a biopsy for personalized cancer treatment. The treatment options are broadly divided into three types, radiation therapy, surgery, and systemic therapy, which includes chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapy. In early stages, lung cancer, single modality like surgery or radiation therapy is sufficient, but in higher stages, a combined modality approach is used. Radiation therapy is a local treatment modality like surgery. That means it removes the tumor where it is placed, unlike chemotherapy, which covers the whole body. Radiation therapy and surgery, they eliminate the gross visible disease where it is present. Whereas chemotherapy is responsible for eliminating the microscopic sleeper cells which are spread in the body. Highly specialized radiation therapy like SBRT, Sabre or radio surgery is used as a curative modality in early stage lung cancer like surgery. Conventional radiation therapy like IGRT which spreads for around five to six weeks is used along with concurrent chemotherapy in locally advanced unresectable stages. Radiation therapy is also used after surgery when there is a very high nodal burden or margins are positive. Radiation therapy is also used for palliation of symptoms like pain, bleeding, etc. Uh, recent studies have shown that radiation therapy or radio surgery along with immunotherapy improves the outcome both in early stages as well as in advanced stages. Radiation therapy works by damaging the DNA of the tumor cells. Whereas SBRT has other modalities of action like vascular damage, stromal damage, and immunomodulation. Now coming on to the unique advantages of radiation therapy in cancer treatment. Radiation therapy is a precise, focused, accurate treatment modality with more than 90% control rates in early stages. It can control the gross disease much more powerful way as compared to chemotherapy. The side effects and effects of radiation are localized to the area where it is applied. Radiation therapy can also be given to the patient who are not fit for surgery or chemotherapy. As we know, lung is a moving organ, so does the lung tumors. With highly specialized techniques like uh, DIVH, gating or tracking, tumors which are moving with respiration can be tackled in a very effective way with minimal side effects. So as discussed previously, for early stages, single modality may be sufficient like a radio surgery or or surgery, whereas in advanced stages, combined modality is the key. So, with radiation oncologists, along with medical oncologists, thoracic surgeons, they together decide the optimal uh, modality, which is the best modality for the patient. What are the combined modalities, and what are the optimal sequencing for a personalized cancer treatment? So, in any stage of lung cancer, since radiation is a very powerful modality, so please consult a radiation oncologist.